Welcome back. In this demonstration, I am going to talk about how to mix the primary colors together to get the secondary colors. So first of all, our primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. We're going to take yellow and red and mix them together to get orange. We're going to take red and blue and mix them together to get violet. And we are going to take blue and yellow together and mix them to get green to get our secondary colors, orange, violet, and green, we need to mix together the primary colors, yellow, red, and blue, okay? We are also going to come back in another video and talk about tints, which is when you add white to a color, and shades is when you add black to a color. So, to get started, you will need um, a sheet of paper, that looks something like this, your color wheel. And the first thing you'll need to do for your color wheel is put your name on it. My name is Mr. Lundgren, and I'm going to put it here. You will put your name at the top, just like that. Then put your section, maybe it's uh, grade 1A, and then put your homeroom teacher. And I will write your homeroom teacher's name on the board. Then. With our supplies, you will need one easel brush like this. This has a long handle. You'll need one palette that looks like this with a piece of paper towel on top for our palette paper. And you will need some a paper towel to dry your brush on. One empty cup for your personal water that is just for you. A cup like this for sharing at your table for your dirty water and a cup of clean water. When you take your cup of clean water, just put a little bit into your own personal cup. This one you share at the table, and this one you will use to clean your brush. Okay? Now, getting started, you will need to use some paint. The paint will come in a bottle, and when you use the bottle, you'll need to uh, look at the label to make sure you're using the right one. This is warm yellow, and of course I will put this here where it says warm yellow. Then when you remove the top, just uh, get out a little teeny bit, maybe uh, half the size of this circle in the center of your pa paper, maybe about this big. And I'm going to put some right here on my palette. Just going to put a little bit of warm yellow. That's about as much as you need. Not too much. You can always go back and get more. So, starting here, we have warm yellow and warm red. I've written those here on the color wheel, and those are the two colors that we're going to use to make orange. So I already have warm yellow, and here is warm red, which I will then put right here on my palette. Now, as I use these two colors, I'm going to mix just a little bit in together. So first, I'm gonna take my warm yellow, and I'm going to place it inside the section on my color wheel that says warm yellow. Notice I have not mixed anything together. Also notice that I've painted this on so it's nice and thick. I can just barely read the letters through the paint. But you want to mostly see the paint, not your letters. Then I'm going to take my paper towel here and I'm just going to wipe off my brush. All right. Then I'm going to get some warm red and paint it right in here where it says warm red. Again, paint it nice and thick so that you cannot uh, see much of the letters, just barely see the words through the paint, like so. Try to paint as neatly and nicely as possible. Now that you have those two colors on, take your warm yellow and add just a little bit of red to it. And you will get an orange color. Okay, now you can adjust if you want to, but be careful. The red is quite powerful and will overpower the yellow very quickly. Okay, so there's my orange color. And if I place this inside of my uh, wedge shape here, you'll see a nice difference between the orange and the red and the yellow. You should be able to see the differences between the two colors, or the three colors, I suppose. Okay, and that is how you mix orange. Now, now that I'm finished with my orange spectrum, 
I'm going to take my brush and wash it out really well in my water. Okay, make sure there's no more paint left on your brush. And when you dry it on your paper towel, make sure that if there's any extra paint, like there's still paint coming off, rinse it again. You wanna have no color left on your brush. So when you pat it on your paper towel, it's nice and clean and neat and there's no extra paint left on it, okay? So there we go, my brush is now clean. And I'm going to move on to the next section. The next section says cool red and warm blue. So look in your uh, paint box and I'm going to get some cool red, remember just a little bit, and the warm blue. Again, the warm blue, you will need very teeny tiny bit because it's very strong and powerful. Okay, now I've got those two and I'm going to start by taking some of my, my cool red and painting it into the cool red section up here. Remember, try to pick the paint up so that it's thick. And try not to have watery paint. This is tempera paint, and I want it to be nice and thick. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to just kind of wipe the extra red off, rinse my brush a little bit so that it's clean. Okay, and then get some blue and paint the blue into the section that says warm blue. Now, you need to make sure you're using the correct color. If I were to use cool blue here, it would look very different. If I use cool blue and my cool red together, it will look very different. So make sure you have the warm blue and cool red, okay? Now that I've got that done, I'm going to take a little bit of my cool red and put it in the center and mix it together with my warm blue and I'll get a purplish color. I like to call it violet, some people call it purple, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, and once you have that, then you're going to paint it in the middle in between. Now, paint it nicely so that you fill that area in. Now, sometimes on the screen in my classroom this doesn't very much look like purple it almost looks like black it's so dark um, but I will show you the demonstration model in class and show you the difference between the blue and the purple okay now once you have that finished again wipe your brush off really well and then rinse it really well in your water to get it as clean as possible you don't want to have any paint contaminating your next color as we mix our next uh, spectrum of color, okay? So I'm gonna clean that brush off really well. And now you'll see it says cool yellow and cool blue. So you'll need to select the cool yellow from your paint box. The cool yellow will look like the yellow you expect when you think of yellow. It's uh, not dandelion yellow, but very bright lemon yellow. And you'll need to get the cool blue. The cool blue will look almost a little greenish compared to the warm blue. So now getting started, I'm going to take my cool yellow and paint it into the slot on my color wheel that says cool yellow. and paint that nicely into the area. Remember, make it thick so you can barely see the lettering on your color wheel. Then I'm gonna wipe my brush off so that I get most of the paint out of it, and then rinse my brush, dry it, make sure I get all the paint off of it, dry it really well on my paper towel, and then get some cool blue and paint my cool blue into the section here it says cool blue on my screen it might appear to be black just like the other ones 
um, but it's it, you, you'll be able to see the difference with your eye because the human eye is very accurate. You'll be able to see that on the demonstration model in class. Once you have your brush clean, grab a little bit of your yellow and mix in a little teeny tiny bit of the blue. The blue will be very, very powerful and you'll have to be very careful in your color mixing so that you don't overpower it and come up with something that's too d super dark. Okay, so here's my greenish color that I've mixed together. I'm gonna paint this green into the section that says green. Now this is maybe a little bit too yellowish green, but I'm gonna leave it because um, it looks kind of like a green that most people will think of as, as green. Okay, so there's my green finished for my color wheel. Now, this is the main portion of your color wheel. We've mixed the primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. We've mixed them together temperature-wise to get our secondary colors, orange, violet, and green. In the next video, we'll come back and we'll make the tints, and then in the next video, we will make the shades.